All right, so the truck has a short. I'm curious if I can find anything, or I don't know what it has, but the battery keeps dying, even if I charge it up fully, and uh, even replace the battery, charge that up fully, uh, come out here a couple weeks later and it's dead. All right, quick note about what I'm doing here. I'm using a plug-in thermal camera to look for warmth. If I find warmth in, say, the radio, that's probably what's draining my battery. If I find warmth in, say, a wire, that wire probably leads to something that's draining my battery. So I'm gonna try and track this down, look for hot spots. But the truck's been off for a while and it's pretty cold outside. Plug in the thermal camera, see what we see. By the way, the battery is not currently dead. I gave it a full charge three or four days ago. Should have enough juice to see something. Now the concrete is warm and that's because the temperature outside dropped considerably over the past day or two and the concrete just hasn't caught up yet. Now that noise you hear is another vehicle running. The truck's off. Huh. I mean, we'll see the lights start warming up soon, but so far nothing there. I do find it interesting that the dash is kind of warm. I'm not really seeing anything. Except for that. What is that? Oh! Oh, this is it! Whoa! Hey, uh, the thermal camera helped me figure out what's draining my battery. Non thermal camera mode. The thing that was hot, or at least drawing enough current to drain a battery. What is this? All right, so here's what happened. This is a $30 device that'll read the error codes and speedometer and tachometer and all kinds of stuff from your truck and display it on your iPhone. A couple months ago when the truck's check engine light came on, I plugged this in, read the error codes on my iPhone, Googled them, and funny story, the top result was me teaching how to solve those error codes on the exact same truck. Just happens to be that the other end of the hose came loose. Yeah, if you put your Feels funny when you put your finger on. Yeah. Right there. Anyway, super cool tool for debugging cars, seeing what they're kind of doing behind the scenes. And this here is a Flare FLIR, whatever, one thermal camera, plugs into an iPhone. They also make them to plug into USB-C devices. It's not their top of the line thing, but it's about 200 bucks still and super, super, super handy to debug a lot of things because a lot of things, when they're going wrong, they generate heat. Cool device. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.